Hi, today our topic characteristic of mammals. Common characteristic of mammals. All mammals have mammary glands. Mammary glands are structure that make milk. All mam all mammals meaning female mammals of course make milk. All milk is made up of water, protein, fats and sugar. But the amount of each nutrient is different in different milk. Human milk, human milk has less fat but more sugar than cow's milk do. Second characteristic of mammals breathing air. All mammals need oxygen to get energy from their food. That means mammals using oxygen to break down food change into energy. We call that process cellular respiration. Mammals have diaphragm that is large muscles that bring in air into the lungs. Our respir respiratory organ is lung. What about the other animals? For example, fish respiratory organ is gill. Third characteristic of mammal they are endothermic. Remember endothermic, endothermic and exothermic. Endothermic animals, their body temperature is constant. What about exothermic? Their body temperature not constant. Their body temperature is going to change according to environment. Four characteristic of mammal students. Mammals have hair. One way mammals stay warm is by having hair. The thick coats of hair are called fur. Some mammals have uh, fat layer. Most mammals also have a layer of fat under their skin to keep them warm. Mammals that live in cold oceans have an especially thick layer of Fat called blubber, especially in some big fish. For example, dolphin. Dolphin is mammals, students. Don't forget, they are not fish. All right, students. They have special teeth. Mammals have special teeth, as you know. Uh, mammals have teeth with different shapes and size for different job. F for example of human teeth. Human teeth have four kind of teeth. Look here, please. Can you see the those four teeth in front of our mouth, we call uh, incisors. Incisors, let me write first kind of teeth, incisors. Incisors. How many incisors here? One, two, three, four. Four up, four down, four up. Human beings totally have eight incisor teeth. Next to incisors, can you see one, two, can you see canine? We call it canine students, second kind of teeth, canine, one, two, two down, two up, totally have four teeth, four canine teeth, especially lion have very strong canine teeth. Let us check the next canine, there is one, two, we call these are premolars, number three, premolars. Three molars, one, two, 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 one, two, three, four, four down, four up. Totally, there is eight premolars. Fourth kind of teeth, students, we call molars. One, two, three, four, five, six, six up, six down, or six down, six up. Totally, we call these are molars. There is twelve teeth. All right, let, let us calculate. 8 plus 4, 12. 12, 12 plus 8, 20. 20 plus 12, it is 32. 32 teeth. Adult uh, human being have 32 teeth. Baby or the young uh, people ha have, of course, less teeth. Meat-eating mammals have large canine. As you see here, can you see this lion have large canine? Plant-eating mammals have larger incisors. For example, donkey have larger 
incisor. Also mammals replace their original baby teeth uh, permanent set. Yani they are changing their teeth. Uh, another properties of that mean characteristic of mammals sexual reproduction. All mammals reproduce by sexually. What is sexually? Students as you remember male male and female male have sperm as you remember students female have egg it is a sperm egg one sperm and egg join together we call sexual reproduction of course but there are two we call this one fertilization there are two kind of fertilization internal fertilization and external fertilization internal fertilization one sperm and egg join Inside the female body is called internal fertilization. One sperm and egg join outside of the body is called external fertilization. <coughs> Number eight. Mammals, ha mammals brain is much larger than that of most other animals uh, that are same size. For example, uh, human brain size larger than fish size. So brain size or crocodile brain size mammals use sensory organ use vision hearing smelling touching or taste the importance of each sense of depend on a mammal's environment to their environment to understand their environment 